Now, every season, hundreds of children across the southeast give up playing football. And the main reason isn't the competing temptations of video games or television, but because of their parents shouting. Now, a campaign video fronted by a former Gillingham and Brighton player aims to stamp out verbal abuse towards young players. Well, there are around 300 youth football clubs in Kent and 40,000 youth players in affiliated football. Approximately 60,000 parents in the county go to a game at some point in the season. They're thought to be one of the hardest sections to reach when it comes to changing the sports culture, especially when it comes to yelling from the sidelines. Here's our sports reporter, Juliette Parkin. If they've done something well, tell them they've done something well. Try not to be too a campaign to designed to bring about a culture change in grassroots football. A culture demonstrated here by former professional footballer Neil Ruddock that still hears negative verbal abuse filtering through the positive cheers. They shout like, why aren't you like passing the ball? Why aren't you like running? Why are you stopping? And stuff like that. And it's like really aggravating people. The message to adults, zip it. We recognise the importance of children having the right environment to play football in. On the whole, parents are fantastic in youth football, but unfortunately they're still a minority that can cause us a problem. Um, the main reason children drop out of the game is because of the behaviour of adults, and that's something that we, we are really passionate about changing. Now the body that promotes and oversees the game in the county, Kent FA, is calling on the thousands of adults involved in youth football, parents, coaches and managers, to think about their behaviour towards young players and the impact on their future in the sport. Let us play. Let us play. Let us play. Let us play. The new campaign video called Let Us Play is fronted by professional footballer Andrew Crofts from Chatham and his parents. With their encouragement and support, he went on from grassroots football in Kent to play for the likes of Gillingham and Brighton, internationally for Wales and now Newport County. A kid makes a mistake on, in a grassroots game, they shouldn't be shouted at. They shouldn't be worried about what their parents are going to say on the sides. They should just be going out on the grass and enjoying playing football, learning, trying to be the best they can be and just having fun. Kent FA says it's only a minority of adults behaving this way and stresses that vocal encouragement is welcome, provided it has a positive, not negative impact. It's hoped that this campaign will encourage young players like this to stay in the game, to love the game and to grow up in a culture of greater respect. We're just trying our best and it's not about like winning or losing, it's just about having fun and working together. And it's hoped that that respect grows with this generation into adulthood when they might find themselves standing on the sidelines. Juliet Parkin, BBC South East Today, Faversham.